up, everybody? And welcome to Comic Book Club. I'm Alex. I'm Justin. I'm Pete. And we have three comic books to talk to you guys about today. We're going to talk about Dark Avengers number one, Mysterious and the Unfathomable number one, and Final Crisis Superman Beyond 3D number two. Oh, so two. let's get. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Good point. Um, so let's get right into it. Kicking it off with Dark Avengers number one of Unlimited. Yeah. Forever. Um, what do you guys think about this new Avengers title? This is, I believe, the 14th Avengers title that Marvel is publishing these days. Yeah. Uh, Who or... avenges the Avengers? That's my question. Mm. Uh, I guess it's not a good question. Nope. I think it's an exciting start start to the dark reign. I mean, it's not the very first start, but it's... Uh, <laughs> it it's the second start. It's... Right. Uh, I think it sets up some fun stuff. It's a very interesting. I, I really loved uh, Bendis' work on it. I'm, I'm excited for what's going to happen. For those of you who don't know, this is Norman Osborn creating his own Avengers, mixing villains and heroes together in a dark reign of darkness. <laughs> yeah, well, he has to get... Uh, they're not really heroes. Like There's something yeah, going they're on. They're all bad guys. Well, Ares just doesn't care. He just wants to cut things. Uh, then you've got Sentry. Can you blame him? Yeah. Sentry. The weirdest one is having Wolverine's son in there. Like, who likes this character? <laughs> well, I guess... I enjoyed this issue. I, I thought this was good, and I think it actually moved a lot better than a lot of stuff Bendis is doing lately. Um, it sets up conflict in the first issue that had previously been set up in Bendis' run on, uh, I think, Mighty Avengers. And um, it does it well, and it's a fun dynamic, and I'm curious to see where it goes. I like this a lot more than I thought I would. I like what I like the most is that they're using the costumes or kind of tricking for the public eye. Yeah, uh, yeah that's smart. Very cool. And uh, and then of course Norman Osborn, spoiler, uh, taking the uh, helm of the Iron Patriot. Yeah, that was yeah. a big, that's a big shocker. Yeah, a real surprise. Um, but yeah, it, there's a lot of nice details. It's a great startup team book where you see everyone come together, and there's some nice tr twists and turns in it. I, and I really liked how uh, Venom uh, made that guy uh, the scroll. Turn into Spider Man before he ate him. I thought that was a nice touch. A nice it's also movie. a nice uh, job bringing uh, Mike Diodato over here because it makes it feel like Thunderbolts, which yep. it is. It's exactly like Thunderbolts. Yeah. I really want to know where this is going to go. Like you're saying, there's so many Avengers books. Like, what's the status quo? What's the mission statement for all these books? It just seems like it's going to be like, in three issues, the Dark Avengers are going to fight the Muddy Avengers, and then the New Avengers are going to fight the. Da -da 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 -da. And yeah. it's like. Are we Avengers? We're Avengers Are you enjoy your m ms by the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm having a great time. If you can get a couple more things, stick a couple more things oh, in your mouth, oh, that would be great. Uh, pick this up, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. we're the comic book Avengers. Oh, there you go. All right, let's move on and talk about Mysterious the Unfathomable. Blah, I can't say that. The name is Unfathomable. Sure is, uh, from Wildstorm. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Modern day magician, basically, is yeah. I guess the way you could put it. Like magician who's kind of like, oh man, this all this stuff works. All my powers work. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Uh, I think this is a very uh, good first issue. Uh, after reading this issue, I definitely want to check out the second one. So I think it's successful in that uh, in that way. Uh, art is awesome. Helps with the whole magic world when the art's a, a little kind less of realistic. Sam Keithian. If I Ooh, may say. Nice, huh? nice. Huh? 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 I'm going to the old archive. I'm going to say Mad Magazine. Oh, Ooh, interesting. Originally. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> it was it was pretty cool, and I like the old... You see a lot... Well, not a lot, but there are a lot of um, versions of hell, or I'm going to go to limbo, I'm going to go and, yeah. you know, see souls who are withering and, you know, in pain and anguish. And I thought it was done pretty cool. Yeah, it's uh, smarter than some other books that try to be like, isn't hell weird? This one's like, oh no, it's actually interesting. And uh, uses it to make a point. And I like where the series is going just from reading the first issue. It's yes, I, I'm it. certainly intrigued. I wasn't yeah. totally in love with it. But there are certain elements I liked, and I do like the idea of you have a new assistant for the magician coming in, and that's how we find out about this world. There's a yeah. tried and true method of doing that sort of thing, and I think it works here. Um, if you like magic, you'll love this issue. Wow. Yeah. Wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. Mysterious the Infallible is pure magic. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pick it up wow. from Wildstorm before it disappears. Oh, oh hey! hey! That's great. That'll be a make a great clip uh, for uh, maybe the back cover of the graphic novel. <laughs> we do a lot of back cover work. You know? Oh boy, I don't like yeah. the sound of that. Uh, so pick that up. Uh, let's move on and talk about Final Crisis Superman Beyond 3D number 2, continuing the most confusing event in the history of yeah. comic books. 
What did you guys think about this? I, I I read it like three times to try to... Wow. No, not really. Uh, the 3D is very enjoyable. If anything, it we came said with this these, with the it first It came one. with these beer goggles. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> the first one, the 3D... Oh. Yeah. 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 Am I right? Oh. We said the 3D oh. was very enjoyable for the first one. Worth picking it up just for that. I agree on the on the second issue as well. Uh, it's fun to be like, hey, I'm going to throw on the glasses... The problem is when you try to read the thing, it gets really muddy and very confusing. The lasers look especially cool with 3D glasses. And I like the hand coming out. Yeah. I actually like this issue. Uh, this is, uh, yes, it's a little all over the place, but um, it's Grant Morrison is so in love with the idea of stories as weapons, like meta stories, where it's like, the story is about telling stories, yeah. and so that story is and a weapon in which you fight the bad guy, which is like a bad story. And, and you're and reading the story about a story while Superman is reading the story. And the thing is, and why his work has been so kind of uh, hard to get into lately is because it puts you one step away from the actual story. Because in this, Superman becomes uh, a robot right. that is made up of stories fighting uh, another story for the sake of the multiverse. And then he's like, he comes out and he's like, well, Lois, I've had quite a day. <laughs> to be continued. Uh, what I did you think of the last page reveal? I thought maybe we wouldn't get to see what was on the gravestone for a while. I thought it was cool. Yeah. I thought this actually... This I wish Final Crisis was more about this. It will be in the last issue. Is the yeah. really aggravating part about this. Will it I actually... Yes. You don't know that, Graham Morrison? No, crazy. Actually, you don't know that. I've read solicits that say Bad Drake the Dark Monitor is coming. Yeah. So, oh, right. I mean, it's following up on this... I wish this was its own story. It had nothing to do with Final Crisis. Well, the thing is, I this mean, seems this is what he wanted the whole thing to be about. But it, but this is only so much issues. better. This on its own is so much better and so wackier and kookier and more interesting than Final Crisis. Every single issue put together so far that I wish this is what the story was all about. And it seems like this is what Final Crisis is about. So why isn't this in Final Crisis? Right. Instead, we've had these kind of uh, ground war really story bits all throughout the first six issues of that. Um, I also, uh, but it still has the same thing of like, there's this character and this character. Bang, bang, bang. No, these ones. And then, then all these weird meta things come in. You look like a three-year-old playing with trucks. That's what I feel like. Oh, <laughs> a three-year-old reading the Oxford English Dictionary. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the only thing I would say is that uh, Grant Morrison is seeming to lose his heart a little bit. Uh, that's something that I've been feeling in Final Crisis and definitely, something definitely here. You know, like you said, he makes Superman a robot, but the entire time all of the characters are talking like robots. Yeah. There's no emotion there at all. They're just spouting ideas, and that's pretty much it. Would, are you saying that you like it and we people should pick it up, though? No. <laughs> no. I, I'm saying people, I do like it, and they should pick it up, but that was not what my point just was. Oh, well, nice. I know, just now wow. I was saying overall. Oh my god, I'm inside a Grant Morrison book. <laughs> Um, I also thought it was funny. On, this is just a thought machine for the proletariat. <laughs> uh oh, I feel a manifesto. Uh, uh oh, I feel a manifesto. This uh, also gets the titular line for Final Crisis. Now comes the conflict, the Final Crisis. You know who says that? A three D vampire monitor makes perfect sense. <laughs> Hooray! If you have any questions for us, you can write us at thecomicbookclub at yahoo.com. You can upload your video responses, comment below, email us, as I already said. And if you're ever in New York, on a Tuesday night at 8 o'clock, we'd love to see you uh, at the pit. Come check us out. Oh, oh you son of a